Hello and welcome to the BS Academy. So recently IIT Bombay has changed their syllabus a little bit to the each branches. So according to the new syllabus, uh, we have made these charts in our best possible ways and these charts basically give you an idea how to prepare your own charts because ultimately you have to make your own charts of every subject and after that you will get that confidence. So basically these charts will give you the ideas and perfect information after referring all the reference. Here in this chart we link to the important concepts which were frequently asked in the gate examination from the material science. Before that if you are new to your academy then please subscribe for the upcoming videos and the links for the short notes which are in the description box. First concept is crystallography. Here there is one table which is most important for the examination. Here for the simple cubic A is equal to 2R, then unit cell is equal to 1, then CN which is coordination number is equal to 6, then APF which is equal to atomic breaking factor which is equal to 52% and the example is alpha polonium. Then after for the BCC, the body cubic center a is equal to 4 by root 3 into R, then unit cell R2, then CN is equal to 8, and APF is equal to 68%. Then the examples are the molybdenum, then after titanium, then after vanadium, then tungsten, then chromium, and alpha iron. Then after the third one is the FCC structure, for that A is equal to 2 root 2 R, and N is equal to 4 then CN is equal to 12 and APF is equal to 74% then after the examples are platinum, silicon, nickel, copper, aluminium, gallium, lithium, AU means gold then after 4 the HCP, hexagonal closed back structure H is equal to 4R and 2 under root 2 by 3 then here n is equal to 6 and cn is equal to 12 similar to the fcc which is 74 percent then the examples are manganese then after alpha titanium then zirconium zinc beryllium and cadmium in this table of the value of apc and alpha beta gamma are also important for the structures like the cubic and rhombohedral and etc here let's see one by one for the cubic structure there are three structures in the cubic which are SCP then BCC and FCC then for the rhombohedral number of structure is 1 and in that structure A is equal to B is equal to C and alpha is equal to beta and and alpha beta gamma are same but not equal to 90 degree then the third one is tetragonal for that two structures are there then after the orthogonal or orthorhombic for this type of structure four types of structure are there and a is not equal to b not equal to c then alpha beta gamma all are equal to 90 degree then for the hexagonal here alpha is equal to beta is equal to 90 degree but gamma is equal to 120 degree then for the monoclinic there are two structures and alpha and gamma are 90 degree but beta is not 90 degree then for triclinic a is equal to b is not equal to c and alpha is not equal to beta is not equal to gamma here gamma is equal to 90 degree so there are 14 types of unit cells which are known as the Bravis lattices. Here note that the Martin site is having the tetragonal structure. This question was asked in the examination. This table is very useful. Then the next topic is the Miller indices. Here for the Miller indices there are some examples are there you can go through it because from this topic mainly 
the selected questions were asked in the examination. Here in the Miller indices you have to take the reciprocal of the values of x, y and z and reduce to the smallest integer by taking common factor. Then after the next topic is the strain hardening for that some equations are there epsilon is equal to ln lf by li then epsilon is equal to ln ai by af then epsilon is equal to 2 into ln di by df and epsilon is equal to ln into 1 plus e here sigma is equal to k into epsilon raised to n here n is equal to strain hardening exponent and e is equal to lf by li minus 1 here note that epsilon is equal to true strain and sigma is equal to e into epsilon Then there is a diagram for the stress versus strain. Then after the next topic is solid and liquid fraction. For this here the diagram is drawn and the equation of ms is equal to co minus cl by cs minus cl. So you can take the values from the diagrams. Similarly you can find the value of ml from the equation of ms plus ml is equal to 1. Here ms is equal to mass fraction of solid and ml is equal to mass fraction of liquid. Then the most important topic from the material science object which is iron iron carbide diagram. Here the diagram is shown very carefully and after referring all the materials. So you need not to take care about the accuracy of the diagram. You can take a screenshot if you want. Here there are some important terms which are useful. First one is the eutectoid point. From this diagram you have to remember the temperature and the percentage of the carbon for the three points which are very important for the first one which is eutectoid point. Here the temperature is 723 degrees Celsius and, and the carbon percentage is 0.76%. Here at the eutectoid point, austenite is converted into the alpha iron plus the Fe3C. Then after the second one is eutectic point. Here the temperature is 1147 degrees Celsius and carbon percentage is 4.3%. And at this point, alpha iron is converted into the gamma iron plus Fe3C. Then after peritectic point, here the temperature is 1495 degrees Celsius and, and the carbon percentage is 0.16%. Then at this point, delta iron plus L iron is converted into the gamma iron. Then after four more regions which are important in the diagram first one is the hypo region in which the steel is there means the p plus alpha iron is there here p is equal to polite and alpha is equal to alpha ferrite here gamma is equal to austenite so polite includes alpha plus fe3c then in the hypo region p plus fe3c which means cementite is there third region which is hypo region there is cast iron is there which includes the gamma plus L iron then after the fourth region is hypo region which includes the cast iron and the combination of plus Fe3C here the, combi here the combination of the gamma and Fe3C is known as the Ladeburite and the cementite is the combination of pearlite plus Fe3C. These two you have to note down. Then after next topic is hardness test. First one is the Rockwell hardness test in which one division equal to 0 0.02 mm and minor load is 10 kg and major load is 150 kg. 
and here the diameter of ball is between 1.6 to 3.2 mm then after the brindle hardness test in which the ball indenter is used here bhn is equal to 2p divided by pi into d into d into d square minus small d square so you can say that hardness is proportional to the bhn then the third one is the wickers hardness test in which vhn is equal to 1.854 into p divided by l square in this type of the test the square diamond pyramid indenter is used here l is equal to l1 plus l2 by 2 then the fourth one is the impact test in this type of test the ball pit hammer is used and v and u notch are there then specimen is horizontal and uh, 55 by 10 by 10 mm of pole bit hammer is used in the impact test then after the iso test which is used only for the v-notch and here grew in same direction of the impact then the dimension of the framing hammer is 755 by 10 by 10 mm then specimen is vertical in this test then here for the case hardness process the nitriding is most impactful than that of the cyaniding and that of carburizing then after for the temperature here in the carburizing the temperature is highest than that of the cyaniding and that of nitriding then after in the martem ring the stepped quenching is used and interrupted quenching is used here from austenite to martensite is produced then in the austen ring bainite formation is there these are some key points you just have to remember then the next topic is the limits fits and tolerance here first one is find the division then find the tolerance then here for finding the deviation two types of systems are there first one is the whole base system and the second one is shaft base system and three types of fits are there clearance fit then after the transmission fit and the third one is interference fit you can see the diagram for the respective fits then if the tolerance is positive then add the value of the tolerance and if the tolerance is negative then subtract so you can understand better by one example here so here one example is there you can take a screenshot if you want let's see in the example here if 525 from 0.0 to 0.0208 then here minimum clearance is equal to whole clearance plus the f clearance which is equal to 0 0.074 mm then after for go gauge the lower limit is whole diameter which is equal to 25 mm and then the size of no gauge is equal to 25.021 mm here fourth one is for goring the dimension will be 25 minus 0 0.02 which is equal to 24.98 and for no go ring gauge here the answer will be 24.947 and wear allowance is provided on the go gauge only then after the next topic is from the material science we row three conditions there are four conditions are there first one is the atoms should have same atomic size factor and D less than 15% then after the second one is for the valency it should be same then third one is the electronegativity and gap should be less then the fourth one is microstructure should same it means it uh, may be 
with any kind of the microstructure like SC or BCC or FCC but it should be same for the, both the atoms. These are the conditions for making the compound mixture. Then after types of defects are there. First one is the point defect in which interstitial defect then after substitutional defect. Then third one is the Frankel defect and the fourth one is Schottky defect. In the Frankel defect one atom is missing and in the Schottky defect the pair of atoms is missing from the structure. Then after the line defects it includes three types first one is the positive then after the negative and third one is the edge dislocation. Here it is occurred due to mostly during the cold work process. Then after one more important concept from material science the name of the concept is Gibbs phase rule. Here the equation for f is equal to c minus b plus z where c is equal to number of components b is equal to number of phases and z is equal to variable which are p and t means pressure and temperature. Then take one example here at triple point f is equal to 1 minus 3 plus 2 which means the number of components in the water is only one the number of phases are three and the variables are two pressure and temperature so the value of f is zero for the triple point similarly in the vapor or liquid or solid region degree of freedom f is equal to two and on the curve here value of f is equal to one so you can find the degree of freedom from the Gibbs phase rule. So these are some basics about the material science and in the gate examination mostly from the material science there may be question of one or two mark only. But you have to prepare for this subject also. So if you like this video please do like and subscribe to the BS Academy channel. And the complete short notes of all the subjects of mechanical engineering is in the description box. You can check out the links for any of the subject. Please share this video to your other friends also who is preparing for the gate examination. Thank you so much.